It's me. It's comedy time! <laughs> Holy shit, what's up, Beat Kitchen? So happy to be here. Uh, it's my favorite club. One of my favorite cities. I missed you guys. It's been a while. I had a show booked to be here, and then some shit happened. <laughs> Two years later, I'm fucking here. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. So, like, at first, I didn't know what the fuck to do. So I would just do five shows for my family every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Got to warm up on that Thursday show. See how the crowd is. And then Friday, Saturday, I kick some ass. I'd have my dog sit up front. My wife and my son are in the back. Strict no heckling policy. Every time I talk about my penis, my son would go, inappropriate. And I'd throw him in the fucking pool. Cause that's our heckler policy at Club Posein. Last time my son saw my penis, <laughs> which is only the third weirdest segue you will hear tonight. <laughs> I've worked it out, that's third weirdest. Wait till you get to second and first. He saw my penis when he's seven, he's 12 now. Last time he saw my wang, he was seven. You know, cause when they're young and we were first time parents, we just let him go around, he's still nude. He's 12 now, and he's got, like, man dong, and he's running around. But... <laughs> I started hiding mine around seven just because it felt weird. And then this happened. One morning, I climbed out of the shower, and my son called my penis the atrocity. <laughs> Look, Mom, the atrocity. And I was like, holy shit. How does a seven-year-old have the word atrocity in his vocabulary? That's pretty cool. And proper usage. That private school we're paying for is doing their job. And a third thing, fuck you, dude. I thought we were friends. Don't make fun of where you came from, man. Respect for daddy's junk, that's all I'm talking about. What in the fuck?